I think it's to the point now, like I'm just waiting until I'm ready to do it again. Because when I do it again this time, that's it. What they say to death do us part. I'm not crazy though. <laughs> I sounded kind of crazy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. It sounded a little crazy. <laughs> it's not, but I mean, that's that's just my mindset. Like, when I do it this second time, like, that's all I want. Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Because I just want to build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I want to keep it real with you. I want to live better, eat better. I want to love better, sleep better. Yeah, I want to feel so aligned. Are you um are you comfortable talking about your marriage? Not not in detail. Oh yeah. Not yet. You don't have to go into super <laughs> detail. Just whatever you're comfortable with. Um, but I mean that that's something I'm curious about. And the reason, you know, I'm so curious is because you know, some stats have come out that most black women will not get married, will not stay married. Mm -hmm. Um and you have at least accomplished the first thing. Mm -hmm. You've been you've been married. Um so, you know, talk to me about what marriage means to you or meant to you and what it currently means or, you know, means to you now. Okay, so I grew up in a two-parent home until I was maybe like 11. And then my mom and dad divorced. Um, so I guess me in that younger stage you always remember like how your parents interact with each other. As you get older, you develop your own thoughts and stuff about marriage and relationships and dating. But I guess me being younger and seeing my parents, it was like, that's what I want. Like, that's the kind of house I want to be in. But as I got older, it was like, well, you know, things happen. They went, they separate ways. It is what it is. Well, I got married at like 26. Um, I was seeing a guy, we were dating all that good jazz, and he went into the military. <laughs> so he went into the military and, you know, we decided to go ahead and let's, let's do this thing. If we're going to be together, if you want me to be with you, this is how it's going to be. So we got married, moved to Georgia. Um, me and him are cool now, so I can go ahead and say that we're cool now. So it's no bad, bad blood. He knows that. But... Um, I think the issue started like once he got um, at his duty station, he started hanging with guys that were way younger than him because he was like 28 at the time. Right. He had just got in. So all of the guys were maybe 20, 21, 22. So he still hasn't developed or understand like, hey, I have a whole wife like I'm married. This ain't no contract marriage. This ain't no you go do what you do. I'm going to do my thing. And we're just reaping the benefits. That wasn't what I went in to do, you know. Um, so after two years, we divorced. We went our separate ways. Um, at first, I was like real bitter, like mad, like I'm never going to get married again. I'm never going to talk to anybody. But um, as the years went by, I had to remove myself from that dating pool. Like I had to work on myself. I had to develop myself. And I feel like me now... 32, I have the mindset of, yes, I want to get married again. Um, it's just made me realize uh, what I'm willing to take and what I'm willing to not take. And that's the thing when you said, you know, women get married, but for them to stay married. I feel like, do I want to stay married just to say I'm married to somebody, even though they treat me like trash? Or do I want to not be married and know what I'm supposed to have. Like, I feel like if I would have stayed in that just because um, I didn't want to deal with what everybody was saying. And I did deal with that at one time. I was like, oh my God, people gonna say I failed. I just got married. Like I wasn't a good wife. Like that was all in my mind. And I would say, fuck that. Like, I know I did what I was supposed to do. I tried counseling, I tried everything, but you can't make nobody stay that don't want to stay. Um, but, it wasn't me saying that I wanted to stay just so I could have that title of me being married. You know, nowadays, women are married. Even guys are married. If it's just not working and people are like, oh, I have kids, fuck them kids. Like, your happiness is is where it needs to be, too. 
Because if you're broken, how can you raise kids up on love like that? So pretty much he wasn't ready to be a husband. He wasn't. He's happily married now. You know, he has two kids. Kudos to him. Um, but at that time, I think um, it was more of a lesson for the both of us because he got to experience like, OK, this this girl ain't fucking with me. Like like she she really put me because I mean, I, I look back a couple of times like you're not going to just run over me just because you want to. But in the same sense, like I said, I grew, I developed, I matured to know this is what I want and this is what I won't tolerate. In hindsight, because you know hindsight is twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. At the time, were you ready to be a wife? I was. I was. Explain. <sighs> I say I'm not gonna say I think I was. I know I was. I was ready to be a wife because, um. I let go a lot of ways that I had in the beginning or me at 22, 21, you know, 23 years old to be with him. Like to me, that was that's my husband. Like I'm going to do what I have to do for my husband. I'm going to do what I have to do. Like I left a career that I was developing. You know, I was in a supervisor position. I was going to get my, my master's at the time in clinical mental health. I was doing everything that I felt like I should have been doing at 23, 24, 25 to leave all of that, to go be with this man. Any woman in her, in that right there, who, who wasn't ready would have been like, nah, we, we can do that at another time. But because that was who I wanted to be with, that's who I cared about, that's who I loved, I was willing to give that all up. I was like, oh, I can start that life again over, you know when we get to where we wanted to get to. Um, I knew also when I prayed for him more than what I prayed for myself. Like, it was one of those things like, and it wasn't me praying for him to change or anything like that. It was just praying like, God, just watch over him. You know, he's in the military, make sure it's Y and Z, you know, stuff like that. Um, now, me now compared to then, I can say at that time, I think I really wanted, I wanted it that bad, you know, to, to have that, that I was ready. Now I'm ready, but it's like, oh, am I really ready? Like, is that something I want to do? Like, is that, you know, or whatever. But the other side of me was like, yeah, girl, you ready? You ready? But then this side was like, no girl, just let it go. You know, type of thing. I think, um, I was just in a different headspace during that time. Um, but marriage is work, regardless if it's a year, two, three, 17 years, is work. Like, this is somebody that changes daily. Like, you know, it's a lot of stuff that can happen in between then, so. I mean, naturally, my, my curiosity, you know, again, you know, I encourage people to be self-aware and self-reflective. Somebody might ask, how come these years later, he's married mm -hmm. and you're not. Mm -hmm. What do you think underlines that? Um, I think for me, I can't speak for him. Um, so he may be married for various reasons because he has children. He might've got married because he has a child with his wife, like he has another child that's in another state by somebody that he dealt with when he was, you know, moved. But for me, I guess I can say I'm not married because for one, I haven't really come across anybody who I would, I'm not gonna say take serious because I mean, any guy that I'm trying to date, I'm trying to take serious. Like I'm, I'm trying to build that up. But I think it's to the point now, like, I'm just waiting until I'm ready to do it again. Because when I do it again this time, that's it. What they say, to death do us part. 
I'm not crazy though. <laughs> I sound kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's crazy. <laughs> it's not, but I mean that's that's just my mindset. Like when I do it this second time, like that's all I want. Like I'd rather wait to do it than to be on my second marriage and it failed, and to be on my third marriage and it failed. Like I said, just to say that I'm married. Like I have this saying, and I tell my friends because. I'm mostly the person in my group that don't have kids and, you know, all of this other stuff. And and I'm just like, hey, either I'm going to be a Tracy Ellis Ross in the world or I'm going to be a Sierra. I'll take either one. Tracy Ellis Ross, auntie, living her best life. You know, I'm sure that she's had her in runnings and stuff with people. But, you know, she basically said it doesn't define her if she's not married. It doesn't define her if she doesn't have kids. That's just what she chooses to be. But then you have people like Sierra, like she's married, she has kids. That's it. I would desire to have that. But if I don't and I end up on the other side, I'd be totally fine too. Okay. So if, if, if you had to evaluate, let's say a young lady who's in shoes similar to you were in when you got married, and she's saying that she wants, I mean, a lot of girls right now want to get married. They feel like it's the ultimate validation. Um, how would you evaluate whether or not she was actually ready to be a wife versus just wanting a wedding? I would ask questions like, what would you do if you found out your spouse cheated or... Um, your spouse is sick and you have to take over like stuff like that, because you have some people that won't be, that won't wipe nobody else's ass. Like, you know, they'll be like, Oh, I got to do that. Yes. Yes. Those are the things you have to do. If, if, you know, um, and it comes back to also, you know, people saying the man is supposed to provide, the man is supposed to provide stuff like that. That was one of my things like, OK, he's a provider, but I'm also going to bring in what I need to bring in because I I always think the worst. I'm not going to say think the worst, but I always think of if something happens to him and he cannot provide, who's going to do it? It has to be me. He help, he also has to be confident in. If something happens to me, she's going to be able to take over like. If you're just so concerned about a wedding and, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that, but you're not thinking about, okay, what if this man is paralyzed? Who's going to pick him up and out of bed? Who's going to give him a bath? Me having a background in mental health and working in stuff like, you know, working with individuals who can't do that stuff is easy for me to, to grasp that, the concept that, like, so if that happened to my husband, like, okay, we just have to do what we have to do. It's, it's that nature of it versus the glimpse and the glam and, oh, he taking me on trips and dates and stuff like that. That's stuff that people don't think about. OK. Um, since, you know, your divorce, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure at different points you've put yourself out there. You've gone on dates, different things like that. Um, what are the streets like right now? <laughs> The streets is talking. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what are the streets like? Slash, um, what what are what are some issues you've run into um, trying to find your Boaz, your your your, your potential partner? Um, I would say communication sometimes can kind of throw things off. Um, but for me, dating right now. I'm to the point of just say what you want. Say what you're trying to do. Like either you're going to waste our time or it is what it is. Like you have, I feel like some people don't like rejection. So they'll feed you all of this crazy stuff versus just saying, hey, I just, I just want to have sex. Hey, I just. I just want you to be around. I just want you to be my sneaky link or I just want you to be around so I can go out blah, 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 blah versus giving me the chance to say, nah, I'm good or whatever. Um, so I think that's that's one reason something I run into a lot. Like, just say what you want. Like, I'm grown. You grown. Just say it. Um, but dating wise, it's hard. 
it's hard out here. You you can like somebody and then all of a sudden you'd be like, damn, what happened, bro? Like, you just fell off the side of off the earth and just go from there. You go from what you doing. I hate that shit. Like, what you doing? And then it goes to, oh, nothing. Okay. All of this stuff. And then it just, like I said, it just fades away. And then I'm like, okay, back at square one. I've done the apps. I've done Tinder. I've done Hinge, you know. Uh, DMs, you know, it's just, it's real bad. It's real bad. One of, one of the pushbacks I'm sure you'll get, um, men might say, the problem is you don't want the men who want you. Is there is there a dude in your phone right now that if you said, you know what, Philip, I'm ready, <laughs> that he will pull up to wherever you were, scoop you up, take you out to get something to eat, and make an honest woman out of you? Is that is that is that true or am I way off? Um or your DMs or 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 your t- Tinder or Okay, see the thing is me. <sighs> So it's a yes. I'm not gonna say <laughs> I'm not gonna say yes because my thing is this, like I I get a lot of DMs and stuff, like people will come in and you know, I'll I'll respond, like I'll say thank you and stuff like that. But I also I also have that thing is I'm not gonna entertain you or I'm not gonna lead you on if I feel like I'm not gonna talk to you. People, my cell phone number is only given to people who I want to talk to. So I've had the same number. Let me put this. I have the same number since eighth grade. So that should tell you I protect my energy when it comes to stuff like that all the time. So if I give you my phone number, it's because I see something potentially going on. But I just don't entertain any and everybody. But I'm pretty sure it's probably somebody in my phone. I probably could say that to you right now. Be like, what you trying to do? And they'll be like, oh, I'm on the way. Like, so what's wrong with them? Huh? What's wrong with them? It's nothing wrong with them. I mean, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I I I talk to them. Sometimes it just may be um, the time is just not right. We can keep in contact, but the time just may not be right. What is <laughs> or I'm just waiting on them to be like, you know, but, but see, sometimes. Women, like we wait, us waiting on them can sometimes push back. You know, me, I'm going to shoot my shot. I don't care who you are. And it's funny because celebrities, I'm always doing dumb shit in in their comment section. Like, if I want to shoot my shot, I'm going to throw it in there. Like, I'm going to just, ooh, what's up, you know, type of thing. Um, But, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just. You just don't want them. It's not that I don't want them. It's just me, like I said, once again, I go off vibes. It's just consistent, like, because I feel like sometimes people will just do what they want to do on the front end. And then when you do decide, be like, okay, let's, let's try this. And they just start slacking, be like, Negro, what the fuck? Like, but let me ask you this. You got to be consistent. These rules that you have, these, these evaluation metrics... Are they consistent across the board when you're evaluating men or if Michael B. Jordan slid in your DMs, all that shit will go out the window? No, it's going to be the same. I can I I know it would be the same. Why? Because I am a stickler for communication. I don't care how fine you are. If your communication sucks, I'm going to tell you it sucks. No, no, no. I'm not talking about at the point of relationship. I'm talking Uh about as far as getting your interest. Oh, because the, the, what you're saying is mm-hmm. there are men who are interested. You're just not interested in them. I didn't say that. You're not interested enough to be in that comment section. I, I don't be I don't be in there. OK, let me celebrities. I'll be in their comment section just because it's just it's just fun. It's just fun. what if they respond? T- tell me a celebrity you'd be in that comment section. <laughs> Lucky day. That's my man. Okay, what if Lucky Day responded? You would still give him the run around like the dudes in your phone? Probably not. But, That's my point. <laughs> but but it has been guys that 
I, if I'm not in that comment section, I will go to their DM or I'll send them a text message. It's, it's, 